What's up, everyone? It's TV, and we are back in Block Tycoon. It's an awesome game. If you haven't played it before, it's a lot like, um, I would say, like Factory Simulator. What's the twist? A pretty cool twist. And I don't know why I have this animation. Don't worry about it. Let's just ignore it, okay? I'm just trying to act like I'm really fast. No, I just equipped the wrong animation. But um, you can see here, I'm back on Life 7. I'm currently on, like, Life 9 because I kind of took a break from the game. But we just recently got a hydraulics update, which is really crazy cool. I want to check it out. So I went back to one of my previous um, lives that has enough money to be able to invest in it. So we're going to go and make some hydraulics hydraulic builds. Now, one thing I did notice with this hydraulic build is that it really takes advantage of like cobblestone of all things. So check this out. So the new stuff, if you go over here, you're going to see there's like this new hydraulic press. So it basically takes cobblestone and you can make compressed cobblestone, which is 666,000. No, I, I don't know why that number. Alana, for what? Why 666? Come on, dude. The heck, man. Um, and then um, basically you take your co like compressed cobblestone <clears throat> and then you can make, uh, you take it into the blast furnace, which is going to make compressed basalt. And then from there, you want to make um, a mega compressor that's going to take the compressed basalt and it's going to turn it into compressed marble. You still with me? I hope you are. And so you're going to take that compressed marble and you're going to make bricks. So you're going to make compressed marble bricks. Then you're going to take that and you're going to put that into not the pillar maker. You're going to put it into the stair maker right here. And then you're going to take the stair maker. You're going to put that into a slab maker. You still with me? I think you are. And you see that's two times, two times 10 million. And you can take it one step further. Actually, no, that's it. <laughs> I thought that was one more step. That's it. So you can make compressed marble brick slabs. It gives you two of them. I saw a different number earlier. I thought it was I thought it was 11 million, but um, it looks like, yeah, you get 20 million off of that. That's so worth it. So we're going to work on this. Also, a really cool update as part of this. They have fast conveyors now. Um, you also have fast upwards conveyors. You do need a uh, second life for those. And then they have fast diagonals. So we're going to actually convert all of my stuff over to these fast right here. So I need to buy a ton of these because it's just going to save so much time, especially getting these through. Um, the downside is it's not going to speed up production, but the positive is it's definitely going to travel faster to get it off this map because the entity like li limits are crazy so first first thing i need to do is i need to turn all these back on so let me go and turn all these back on i also like that they finally have um wait is that there we go um i like that they have this now where you can rotate it's pretty helpful for a while there we didn't have that it was real annoying all right so we got our cobblestone tower back it's not very big it's kind of a small tower but once it starts running it's pretty fast and then i got this side here right there we just need to do all these all right all of them are running so we should start filling this stuff up and it goes into an item stacker and then it releases at an interval, which is pretty cool. Now what we need to do is we need to get our like press. I think we need a hydraulic press, right? Let's see, hydraulics. Now it does say it's 0.5 seconds operation time. What's a good, com like what's a good comparison for that? So like the furnaces are one second. So it's faster than a furnace. So you don't need quite as many. What about brick makers? No, those are one second as well. Um, compactors, I don't think we, did we mess with compactors? I don't remember. Let's see, oh, in the end we're doing slabs, but these are look like they don't show the time on these. Yeah, I think we have compactors right here. Dude, why is this stuck? Hold on, hold on. Why is this stuck? What's in this? Oh, it's got it's got the wrong blocks in there. Why does it get the wrong blocks? No, it's got the wrong blocks. Let's fix that. All right, that should be fine. Does this have blocks in it? This should be good. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, there we go. It's going, it's going. All right, and that goes over here. It stacks up here. Then it makes these. So, okay. So what we need to do, honestly, I don't know what I'm thinking. We have to redo this completely because we have to go straight from cobblestone to hydraulics because it makes compressed cobblestone. Because I don't think, hold on. Can you actually do direct? I don't think you can do direct marble. Yeah, it has to be compressed. Okay, so we got to shut this thing off. Um, basically, we're going to get rid of all these. Let me go and buy a better pickaxe. I'm surprised we still don't have better pickaxes. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Like, these are so slow. But the nice thing is I don't have to use any of these anymore. And the hydraulics are really fast. 0.5 seconds. It's half the time as these. So you don't need quite as many of them. But we got to just take this entire build out. You know what? I'll, I'll probably do. I'll just probably leave all this stuff. And then I'll use, like, a different setup for this. Let's do this. I'll leave the I'll leave the furnaces alone. All right, all right. So we got this entire area right here we could use. So I'm just going to turn it around. We're going to use the fast ones, too. So let's buy a ton of the fast ones. Let's get a bunch of these. Just buy like a hundred of them. And then we're going to buy a bunch of these. I love the uh, uh, fast upwards conveyors too. Thanks devs for that. That's awesome. Okay. Let's use the fast ones. We're going to get these out of here real quick. Oh yeah. Those are way faster. All right. And this thing is filled up. Okay. Let's go. Let's get some. I think what we could do is split. I think we can split half of them. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get a splitter here. It'll make sense in a second. Actually, you know what? I don't think we need a splinter. We'll, we'll, we'll use uh we'll use this. We'll just do this. Cause I think it's only, it's only half a second. Let's see. Let's see if this works. And how, how big are these hydraulics? I have a feeling they're huge. Huge. Are they big? Oh, uh, yeah. It's like the other ones, dude. Oh, it's so annoying. Okay. I know how to handle this. All right. We're going to do it this way. We're going to bring it up. So let me get some ramps. We're going to bring this stuff back up and we're going to turn it around. Can we just do that? Oh, it does. It does work. That's cool. Okay. And then let's get some stone and we have a bunch of this basalt block. We'll just use that and we'll just bring this way back up. That works. All right. Do another one. And we're just going to keep going up with this for a moment. I kind of want to put an item like holder, but I don't think it makes sense. Not yet. Like a stacker. All right. This should work. This should work. This should be tall enough. 
enough. I mean, how many are we gonna do? So let's count real quick, because we need to do it based on the count. So we're gonna do a compressor, like a mega compressor, so that's one. Actually, that's two blocks, but we'll, we'll count these afterwards. And then we need to do the brick maker, so that's two. Then we're gonna make a stair maker, three. And then, oh, do we need the blast? Oh yeah, yeah, we need blast too. So it's hydraulic press to blast furnace to mega compressor, so that's three. Then we get this, and it's four, and then it's five and six. So it's six times, so we need 12 blocks high. We have to go 12 blocks high, that's insane. Okay, so how, how high is that? Let's see, this is, so this should be two, three, four. Okay, that's how high we have to go with this. That's insane, but we gotta do it right. This is such a long travel too. I mean, this is not ideal, okay? This is not optimal, I just don't feel like having to dig. And I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna have any despawn issues. Wait, why is this still going? The heck? Oh, that's funny, it's still, it's just picking it up from there. I was like, why is that still going? Okay, so there's this one. Let's go and build this up. Oh my gosh, we have so much more to go. You know what? I got a different idea. I got a better idea. This be easier. I promise. I promise. Okay. We're going to take it back this way. It'll make sense. It'll make sense. Okay. And then we're going to bring it up one like that. And then we're going to take this new hydraulic press and we're going to put it right there. Boom. Look at that. And then it's going to come out right here. And then we're just going to do another ramp that and it's going to go to the next step and it's going through pretty fast. Let's see if it's held up. Yeah, it is. It's held. It's definitely held up. Dude, there's a lot of blocks there. Um, The other thing I have to do is I have to block this right there. So it holds. There we go. See how that goes. It looks like it's holding quite a bit. So the only thing that I can do here is push this out one step. I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. And I got to do a balancer here like this and this should look familiar we don't need a fast uh, diagonal for this because it's just going to be balancing so you don't have to do anything crazy with that we're going to take that hydraulic press back and put it right here and then we're going to put whoop, did i buy two of them wait is that a is that a hydraulic well, hold on hydraulic press um i guess it is i bought two of them okay so there they are and let's just go and block this so it doesn't get flung off i don't know why it's doing that but um it doesn't look like it's getting held up too bad like 40 but yeah let's look it looks like it's working pretty well because i think it takes nine at a time so it's a little different let me see it take nine at a time? Yeah, so it's nine. So it's not going to despawn quite as fast. So you probably only need two for this size. That looks good. It's not going to despawn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. In fact, I could probably remove this limiter and just let it all go. Let's just let it all go. I mean, it's so fast. It might as well do it this way. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so it's working pretty nicely. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to split these into their own separate feeds like this. And then this is going to go into the blast thing here. It's only a billion. So we'll buy one of those. We'll buy two of them. All right, so let's go ahead and set that up. We got to start selling some of these because pretty soon here it's gonna get way too expensive there we go how many does that feed it requires just one okay so this one might this one might kind of get load issues and let's go ahead and block these off too because you can see they're starting to fall off it's too fast okay that's looking good let's get some cell pads here just for a moment just so i can make some money and then i'm gonna drop all these back in here there we go okay we're making good money now so it's 8.8 .8 and how's our despawn rate our item, item limits looking really good um i can always turn off the mushroom build here if i need to this one's kind of broken anyway i think this one was temp i don't know what's going on with this one. Let me just shut it off. This is like the default one. And then I got like a couple more over here. Let me shut this one off. And it looks like I have farms over here too. Jeez. Yeah. So we're not having any like any kind of despawn issues with this new cobblestone farm. This is way better. And um, you don't have to worry about those furnaces and stuff. So let me go ahead and get the next piece here. So we got the mega compressor, right? Um, no, these are the blasts. So now we need the, yeah, now we need the mega compressor. So let's go buy those. Buy two of those. The main challenge I'm seeing right now though, is how do I get these? I got to turn them because otherwise we're going to run into this wall. So I got to turn these. So let's turn them back this way and then we're gonna put this one right here we're just gonna turn it like that and get rid of that <clears throat> and you know what? actually i could just use one i could definitely merge it like this again and just i know exactly what we can do here we'll just do that we'll block it so we don't have stuff falling out because that will happen and then we're gonna take these two and we're gonna put them side by side like this put these on the base do our balancers using diagonals like that put these blocks so they don't bounce backwards because things do fall out and now these are making marble nice okay so for marble what we want to do is make bricks so we need to make brick make and so I'm going to just basically put these. We can go back to separating because I can take this entire lane here. That'll be plenty. So let's make brick makers. I'm going to get two of these. We're going to get two of these. I don't know if we're going to be able to afford this. I think we can. And then we need our two high mega slab makers. <clears throat> we don't have to worry about balances here because we have a pretty good flow. There we go. And we do the same thing. Now we got bricks. Now we got to do the stair maker. And then we're going to have the uh, mega slab maker. See, this one's the stair maker. So we need this one next. Okay, let's block these in. It's pretty easy to do. You just need the money. You just need the money to be able to even make this stuff. Otherwise, it's kind of a pain, but this is the best way to do it. Just these little ramps so you don't have to dig and stuff. I hate digging on this. And then um, let's go ahead and get the final here. Go buy this real quick. This should be the final piece. And then let's just make it so they don't fall out because they will keep falling out like that. And then let's put our cell pads here. Boom, boom. All right. So now we're selling slabs for 21 million each draw. Like you get two of them. My money is now just flying. So I have zero despawn. I have zero hold up right now. You can see they're flying through there. So I can take expand this and increase my output per second very 
easily. But dude, this is this is crazy. And it's a very simple farm too. It did not take long at all. I think maybe like 15 minutes worth of actual like layout. The main thing is just making sure you have enough money. Um, but what I should do is I should feed some of these in. So, cause this is the stairs. I can just drop these 36 out and it's going pretty quick. It's going quick enough. See, there's 31 there. It's trying to keep up. Yeah, it's still going down. So there's definitely no like, see how it's the numbers going down. It's shrinking. That's a good sign. We can go ahead and sell these. I'm almost already at a 4 billion. And then I got a bunch more of these. These are for the stairs. Drop the stairs in or the uh, bricks. And it's chewing right through that. Look at it. The number's going down. Awesome. Okay. We're almost to 6 billion already. Dude, we're flying. I wish I could apply this to like future, but um, there's no like permanent unlocks. Like I said, it doesn't really make sense to like do this kind of stuff on a, a previous life. I'm on life seven, but it, technically I'm on life nine. So it doesn't really make sense for me to do it like this, but to just preview stuff and try things out before you, you know, can't actually afford it. You might waste your money on things that you don't need. So this is a nice, you know, way of testing. Looks like this is almost done. So I could just basically make some more layers here if I want to increase my um, money per second. So yeah, we made a um, slab, like a compressed marble slab farm. That's making us a ton per second. Look at that, dude. I could probably get this to a billion per second. My guess is I probably could get it up to that. Can you imagine? Insane. Because this is only two. This is only a slice. Like I can make this wider. I can make it like a four lane or five lane and have this massive. Um, the other thing you can do, by the way, I just noticed, um, I don't know if I even checked this. See these right here, the aqua stone. I've been so focused on the compressed marble brick slabs, but yeah, I don't see like compressed aqua stone. So it looks like the best aqua stone is not the best. I think it's faster. Aqua stone is much faster, but you still have to send it through and you have to do four of those. So yeah, it wouldn't be really worth it. But yeah, this is it. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to play this game yourself, I will link it in the description if you haven't checked it out yet. Definitely a lot of fun. Worth trying out. Um, you know, at some point it kind of gets boring if you kind of have everything. Like now that I have this, I don't really need to rebirth still. So, you know, you can see right here, like the highest rebirth requirement right now is five. And so I'm like way ahead of that. I'm at like nine right now. And I'm going to keep doing that just because you do make more money over time, but it's just kind of gets boring because you're just kind of waiting for the next stuff. And that's just a development challenge with rebirth, especially when you have rebirth games like this. I could probably try to go for the leaderboards, but I'm not really a re you know, I, I got so many games I'm playing, so I probably won't do that. But in any case, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you, you know, how you're doing on this build. Like, are you, do you have a better build than me? Love to hear about it. Love to see it. Thanks again. And I'll see you next time. Peace.